was some coming home party. <laughs> Okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back. And I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us, and they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my, my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your bag to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we there just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles. Yes, Charles. Be right with me. Hello. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brew Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place Charles. to hold up. Yes, Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. Oh. I know the way. Follow me. Let's go, boy. Easy, boy. You're okay. We need to get this done fast. Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge upriver, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Yeah, a boat's probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. 
Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. Where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. There's the bridge. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Well, I see one anyway. And that'll do. Come on. Butcher Creek is a few miles upriver. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into rains fall and the eagle flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and in, in, in the war. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. <laughs> Your creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. Well, they don't look too friendly. Until you meet the Murphys. All right, let's walk it from here. Good evening. Peace, Murphy Hills, stranger. Might watch where you wander. It's a 
bit of a walk. We could grab those horses if you want. We probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. Exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots, which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me, stay quiet. Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Why do I always gotta do the carrying? Because I do the skinning. Well, how about I do the skinning? Then who do the care? What the hell? I'm about to work on your insides. You shoot like girl. That was close. Come on. We must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's the stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with.
out of the cage. Don't touch me. <laughs> it's okay, miss. Please don't kill me. Just calm down. We ain't gonna hurt you. Stay away from me. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? You take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Antisburg, right? Yes. They, 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 um. It's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. It's all right, miss. Why would they? Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith? You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. Place is yours. Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mona. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy group got Oh, my God. How did you manage well, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Okay. Thank you. That's mighty kind of you. This is doubt? Oh, no. 
You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Mike find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dort! Did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. Or any of his stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told him, and I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot crazy. me. She ain't worth it. You told <laughs> on me. Oh, you betrayed so me. What? Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Take her. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. Woman, Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that speedy look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour faced old crow. God damn you. Murderer. Murderer. Yes. Just sit a while.
It'll be okay, Strauss. Okay? They shot Molly. And look at this place. Good morning. This is gonna be a good day. Why don't you just split, Mary Beth? I'm not the enemy here. This ain't a prison. What are you trying to do? And you ain't doing much to help the situation. I don't have time for this nonsense. Morning, Arthur. So, here we are. Can't believe that bitch Molly ratted us out. Yeah, if she even did. I can't believe that bitch ran on us. So get out of here.
thing is, Sadie, I really can't... I must come. He's my husband. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well, I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by Marsac. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marshal? We good? Uh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, <laughs> mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't, he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go oh, and get him together. Uh, Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, 
Where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Boy, you guys! Shit. Okay, fam, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down, now! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's inside, Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, <laughs> is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, Faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now hurry up! 18, well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Now hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on! Don't cry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs>
to need rescuing, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them. It's can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Oh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San... Denise? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a... Goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait. You're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or... Maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. <laughs> Guess not. We, we told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... 
They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. <laughs> 